still know me, but hopefully you will soon. I'm Chad Lake, executive chef for Restaurant Services Inc. in Portland, Oregon. We got a couple restaurants, Fish Go to Seafood Restaurant or Restaurant Lounge on the other side, Central Kitchen. Start of the day. Got some tunes going. Let's bake some bread. All right, here we go. Got everything we need to make this bread. We call it the daily bread. We can make it daily. But also a little bit of reverence to the fact that bread is one of the most essential foods ever in the history of man. And uh, we've got respect for it. So we use only highest quality ingredients. We've got some uh, unbleached, unbrominated winter wheat bread flour here. Got some sea salt. Got my scale zeroed out. And I'm going to use about two ounces in there. I don't know if you can see in here, but that yeast is uh, starting to just foam up a little bit because of the interaction with the flour and the warm water. It tells me it's alive. We're going to bake that bread now. Alright, so here we go. I'm throwing my rosemary. I like the rosemary. It brings out a really nice flavor in the bread. And it, it doesn't, it's not overwhelming. It's, it's kind of more scented, adds its scent to it than it does um, actually overwhelmingly flavors it. But it's absolutely delicious, and let me tell you, when the guests come in and they try this bread, they, they walk in when we open at 5 o'clock, and they this bread that came out of the oven at 4 59, they love it. So, so the flour in. Again, it's 5 pounds of the winter wheat berry flour, bread flour. One of the best I find is simple, natural flour. Perfect. For making this bread. Pull my mixer up. Let it spin a couple times, then we can add the salt. I don't want the salt to be too close to the yeast, otherwise it'll interact too soon and we won't get the bread that the uh, consistency that we're looking for. That's it. Now I'm just going to let the mixer knead it. Check out the mixer. Our restaurant opened in 1892. Take the mixer with it. Uh, so we're going to let that mix eight, nine minutes. Uh, stretch out the gluten strands just a little bit uh, so that we get a nice uh, fluffy bread with some uh, nice uh, air pockets in it, nice crisp bacteria. All right, so we got the bread here now. It's starting to get where we want it. See how it's still tearing just a little bit? We don't want that when it's a little bit smoother. Pop it back up, turn it back on. Remember in Blue Cadillac when the sleeves fall and the casino says to burn it at Peter's? You skin it smooth like the Vita. That's what we want. Smooth like the Vita. Alright, now we're golden. Pull it down off the hook. Get it all off of there. No need to let it rise, so just gonna do a pan spray in the bowl. Out. Spray the top. <coughs> Cover it, find a nice warm spot for it, let it rise twice, punch it down twice, roll it out. Alright then, bread's gonna rise over here. I'm gonna get the kitchen set up over here while it's doing that. See ya. Alright, here we go. Just gonna grab the bread. Oh, the dough, right? She is ready for that second and final punch down. Get a little bit of flour out. I like to form it into a nice little loaf. Get ready to roll it out. Alright, I'm going to cut it to this. Six equal pieces. It's a while, so I kind of know when it's equal, if something feels a little off. Take a little bit, add it to it. Gather it all up. Pinch it to seal it, flip it over, you got the start of a boule. Alright, this is what we got. Six loaves, 
Ready to go back to the warm spot? Rise up a little bit, then we'll toss you in the oven. All right, then. Drop this down. Here, I'm not just shaking around too much. We don't want to lose any of the uh, fries we have on that bread. Nice hot vegetable, 500 degrees. Put just a little water on the pan I got in here. Generate some steam, help give it a little more lift. Keep the outside from browning before the inside's done. 15 minutes later. Go with some big, bold, beautiful loaves of bread. Easy.